Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey everybody, how are you? I'm Alex Bennett. This is The Ramble. And uh, we are coming to you again tonight, uh, courtesy of YouTube. And uh, if you go over to gabnet.net, we also are streaming the show on gabnet.net. So we hope you will all join us. Uh, uh, but uh, for now, uh, we have a whole bunch of things we got to do, and one of which is talk to one of our dear old friends. Yes, you know him. Once again, we go out to the other coast of the United States and talk to that other person on that other coast. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovely, the attractive Larry Bubbles Brown. Hello, Lauren. Hello, Alex. We're ushering in our fall spring here. Yeah, yeah going to be 70 degrees for the next few days. Oh, how nice. Uh, what is the temperature now? Let me see what it is here in New York City. I'll tell you right now. Uh, it's a wonderful 28 degrees. Wow. <laughs> and it's supposed to snow tomorrow. So, Well, I noticed when I first moved out here, I noticed like every year, the last, in the last 10 days of January, the first 10 days of February, we'd always get this uh, stint of warm weather. And then one day I was watching uh, John Wayne's last movie, The Shootist. Right. And, and they mentioned that it's, it's a West Coast phenomenon called the false spring. Apparently, It's not climate change. This has go, been going on for hundreds of years. And you get like a week of uh, warm weather, then you think spring's here. And then, then next week it'll be wet and cold. But. You know, that may be John Wayne's best movie. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, nineteen eighty, I think. It's all. It, it, he was dying of cancer when he. I uh -huh. think when he made it, he knew he was dying of cancer. Yeah. And it's all about a cowboy who goes back. Uh, I guess he goes home, or to some place, and he goes there to die because he knows yeah. he has he has cancer. And the whole movie is about this. Old gunman who uh, is uh, and a dangerous gunman too, um, who's dying of cancer. And I thought that was an amazing picture to make. And of course, yeah, it was a great way to go out. And I think uh, I asked Mort Mort Saul said John Wayne was actually he said liberals hated him and said he was a, he's actually a much better actor than he's given credit for. Um. Uh, Okay, we have to divide actors into two types. There are actors, there are people who play roles and then immerse themselves in that role. And then uh, there are mo movie stars. Personality. Yeah, he was a movie star. People yeah. went to his movies to see John Wayne, not to see John Wayne as uh, Winston Churchill, okay? Yeah, <laughs> don't think he could have pulled that off. <laughs> no, I don't think he could have pulled that off. But all I'm saying is, you know what I'm saying, is that yeah. an actor acts and, and a, a movie star reacts. Best way, to, best way to describe it. And so when you went to a Cary Grant movie, Cary Grant was always some version of Cary Grant. Mm -hmm. And John Wayne was always some version of John Wayne. And in those days, uh, you wanted to be that way because it was your personality you were selling, and that's what put tickets in the you know asses in the seats. Uh, today, it's like uh, everybody who ever wins an Academy Award usually did an impression of somebody, right? You know, and uh, uh, it, they're more actors. I mean, Meryl Streep is an actress or actor. Um, uh, but, Steve uh, McQueen would be a personality. Would be a uh, yeah. Although he movie star. towards the end of his career, he tried to be a mo an actor. Uh, he uh, made a movie of a Chekhov play, uh, the uh, the one with the uh, oh boy, oh, I, the Enemy of the was, People, Enemy of the People. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was Ibsen, I believe. Uh, not Ibsen. I, I didn't see it, but Mort said it was not very good. It was not very good. I have it here. I was looking at it the other day, as a matter of fact. 
And really? I went, the only thing that made him an actor in that picture is he had a big full beard. <laughs> that was, you know, he looked like David Letterman does now. Um, <laughs> Uh, you know, he wanted in the biggest way to be accepted as a as a decent actor. When there was nothing wrong with being uh, a uh, a personality. I mean, Bogart was great, but not as an actor as Bogart. Uh-huh. And when you went to see a Bogart movie, you wanted to see Bogart. You wanted to see some semblance of Bogart. I mean, even in the African Queen, where you know he played this grizzled old guy dragging a boat behind him. Uh, he was still he was still Bogart. You could still see Bogey there, right? Know? And uh, so I mean, so McQueen wanted that that patina of being a uh, uh, an actor. When in fact, what he did was, had his own value. He had, he created a character that everybody wanted to see and that was usable in any number of vehicles. So uh, you know, it, it's um, uh, that that's the way movies are. You know, died at fifty. Did, he did die at fifty. Mm-hmm. And he, what did he die of? Do you remember? He had some type of a huge tumor in his stomach. It was a, and he kept going to like South America to get a kept cure. Going to Mexico, trying all kinds of uh, weird treatments and stuff. You know, when he probably could have stayed here and gone through conventional treatment and survived. Uh, probably would have extended his life. It sounded like it was pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. So he was. But the John the John Wayne movie, the Shooters had a uh, it had a pretty good cast. Jimmy Stewart was in it. Lauren Bacall. Remember who played Ron, the Ron Howard? Ron right? Howard. Yep. Ron Howard. I mean, and these people were all making what was John Wayne's last film. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, it was. Uh, what was the picture where everybody kind of? There was one picture where everybody died. Who made it? Uh, oh, that was the John. It was something the, the Barbarian. Was, a, the Barbarian. You know, then they they shot it in a uh, nuclear test site, I think, and everyone died of cancer. <laughs> well, they Wayne. didn't do it at a nuclear test site. They did it in Nevada. Yeah, and uh, they were testing nuclear devices, and the cloud went over uh-huh. the set. And I believe Susan Hayward was in that picture and died shortly after that. John Wayne was in that movie and died as, as a result of the cancer that was caused by it. Uh, I think Akeem Tamiroff was in that picture and died as well. Uh, and so that was the killer movie. Yeah. <laughs> Wiped out the entire cast. Wiped out the entire cast. I maybe, I maybe, I don't know if I'm right about Susan Hayward, but I believe I see her in the cast. So, okay. I, I don't know why I remember these things, and I can't remember my wife's name. Uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm famous for once introducing my mother, saying, "This is my mother," um, uh, 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 <laughs> and I and I was I was young. It wasn't like I was had some kind of Alzheimer's. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean there were there were a lot of deaths in that movie, um, and then there was another movie they made oddly enough in Nevada, where the cast all eventually died within a year or so after the film was released. Uh, uh, I know this one. Okay, come on. Uh, the, the Misfits. You're right. Oh God, you're good. Yeah. You're good. Clark Gable, uh, Marilyn, and. Uh Montgomery Clift. Montgomery Clift. Uh, Montgomery Clift went later. Went yeah. uh, about a, maybe a year or two later. But Marilyn was dead shortly after that, and Gable died shortly after that. In fact, I think it was both. For them, it was it was their last film. There were some f- sh- scenes for another film uh, that Marilyn had done, uh, which they've tried to piece together. But yes, I think it was with Dean Martin, and they, they didn't finish it. Yeah, something's got to give. Maybe was the name of it. That's. I think you're right. Yeah, and uh, she made uh, did most a lot of the scenes in it, and they p- kind of pasted it together at a certain point. But they really, they remade it. They made it. They got, uh, when she died, they got another actress to come in. That was Sherry North, I think, and she did the part. But the film wasn't very successful. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, but so that film was never released, really, technically. So Misfits was her last film, and it was Gable's last film, and it was the second to last film for Montgomery Clift. But he did a spy picture after that, and I can't. I'm trying to remember the name of it now. But that, I think that was his last film. But it, if he hadn't made that film, Misfits would have been his last film. So again, a whole bunch of people died from that. So we all we learn is don't shoot a movie in Nevada. It, exactly. Okay. Uh, and Eli Wallach was in that movie, but he didn't. He died years later. He lived to be like 120. I had him on my show when he was in his late 90s. I mean, wow. Yeah. And uh, was he lucid? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, you know who also was lucid? Uh, Peter Falk. I had Peter Falk on about a year before he died. And uh, at at uh, Sirius XM, and I we, he he loved me, and I loved him. Uh, he loved. He was great. Well, he loved me because I knew things about him that other people didn't care about, and he did. Like uh, a picture called "Tune In Tomorrow." Now I don't know if you've ever seen "Tune uh, In." I've never Tomorrow, heard of that one. Uh, but he plays a guy who writes radio plays. This takes place in the late forties. He writes radio plays, and somehow wherever he writes radio plays, they they chase him out of town. <laughs> and he, Keanu Reeves is in it. I'm trying to remember the woman in it. Uh, she, she, oh God, I'm trying to remember her name. Um, and uh, it takes place in New Orleans, and so he winds up in New Orleans. And uh, the picture starts off with him being chased out of town, but you don't know for what exactly. But it turns out he's a great writer of of soap operas. And so there was this daily show that was on in New Orleans, and he started writing for it. And slowly but surely, you see why he was chased out of town, because he starts putting things in the script that are offensive to Albanians. <laughs> and I just love that movie. Uh, in oh, fact, I see that. I've never heard of it. In fact, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I've got I to gotta bring something up here. It has one of my favorite quotes uh, ever in a movie, and I actually have it here on my uh, on my palette for stuff. And uh, there are two of them. There are two of them. And uh, one of them, here's one of them now, okay? Life is a shitstorm. And when it's rain and shit, the best umbrella you can buy is art. Now, did you hear that at all? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, Okay. <laughs> I love that. Listen, that, that's that's my philosophy of life. Life is a shitstorm. <laughs> and when it's rain and shit, the best umbrella you can buy is art. Yeah. And then, uh, then uh, of course, another term which I just, I gave to somebody to use. Ah, moose poop. Yeah. So, uh, ah, moose poop. Those are the two lines of his. And I mentioned that film and he went, Nobody ever mentions that film to me. That's I love that film. <laughs> you know? Really? Huh? Yeah, yeah. And uh, we just got along great, you know. And he was the sweetest guy. You know, I really? expected. You know, sometimes you don't know when you bring a guy in like that. You know what what he's really like. I mean, is he an asshole? Is he, what is he? <clears throat> and he walked in, and he was just. It was like. It's like you knew him all your life. You know, he made you feel comfortable, and he was just, he was a great guy. Just loved him. Just loved him. Loved Columbo. Yeah, yeah. I didn't that's ask him that much. TV was good. Yeah, I didn't ask him that much about Columbo. You know, I asked him about The In-Laws. I love The In-Laws. It's one of my favorite films of his. Uh, and, uh, you know, but he, he, had a, he, had a, he had a terrific career. He had a great career. I never saw those movies. He did all those movies with uh, Cassavetes that I never, like oh. Husbands, and I never saw them. Okay, let me tell you this then. When I was at WMCA in New York, it was the only other time I interviewed Falk. In fact, I reminded him of the fact that I, you know, that I had interviewed him back then. And he was on my show with John Cassavetes. And uh, who was the other guy that was part of the, part of the group? Was uh, it Ben Gazzara? Ben Gazzara. Uh, and the three of them were on the show together. And I remember asking him once, he said, I said, what don't you like in, in movies today? He says, I don't like violence. 
And I went, you don't like violence? He said, yeah. I said, you got your first Academy Award as a supporting actor for playing Abe Rellis in Murder Incorporated, one of the most <laughs> violent characters ever on the screen. And his answer to me was, yeah, but I was acting. <laughs> Um. Uh, yeah, that was that was quite a night. That was that was that to get those three people in the same studio. I mean, I wish I you know in those days when we did interviews, uh, yeah, we did them on tape. Uh, they were all brought. You know, we would do a a, a what do you call it a a, a, a tape of them, uh, but they were huge giant reels. They were like we, we called uh, ten and a half inch reels. I think that was the size of them. And they were gigantic. And that was for one hour. All right? So if you took that tape and kept it, and then you kept all the other shows you did, before you knew it, you'd have to move into another apartment just to house the tapes you had. Beautiful. Where today, it's just a file. It's a little file on a computer, you know? Or uh, at the worst, it was like became cassettes, which were small. Um, and I have a lot of those from San Francisco. But that early stuff, I, you know, I never kept my interview with uh, Ben Gazzara. And uh, I did one show with all uh, with all the major members of the National Lampoon. Uh, Michael O'Donoghue was there, Doug Kenny. Um, um, uh, who's the other guy that started it with Kenny? Um, there's a movie about them now on, on Netflix. Um, Henry Beard. Uh, and and Christopher Surf was there, and w anyway, we had all these people from the National Lampoon, and what they did was a put on, was a hoax, and the hoax was that we were discussing concentration camps in America, and <laughs> supposedly there were these camps where people would be uh, sent if they had drug problems or they, they didn't speak well of the government or whatever and went through a re-education process. And Doug Kenny played like one of the people who had been re-educated and he played it like really comatose. And uh, uh, Henry Beard was a professor, you know, and then the Michael O'Donoghue who was Dr. So-and-so. And they did this thing for an hour. And here, how you really do a great hoax is how they did it, which was you don't say there are concentration camps in America because then people are going to say, is this a put on? What you do is you go one step ahead of that and you discuss, as we did, whether they were being run properly. <laughs> and we went for an hour with this, and it's a classic. I mean, if I had it today, people would say that's a classic moment for the National Lampoon, and I don't have a copy of it. And I've looked online to see if some, sometimes stuff shows up on the Internet because I, I found, like, when Paul McCartney died, I did all these shows about, is Paul dead? And somebody actually put 15 minutes of it on the Internet a couple of weeks ago. And so now I have that. So I keep waiting for the National Lampoon one to show up, but I don't think it ever will, and neither will probably this interview with Falk, Gazzara, and, and uh, Cassavetes. Um, but, and at the time he didn't think about, I got to save this, you know? So did, did, did it seem like it was a good interview with the three of them? Oh yeah. I mean, it was, it, it was quite good. Um, uh, and they were, you know, there, there have been, what was it? There was some, in the next room, somebody was interviewing a prostitute and, and Falk comes in and goes, there are hookers in the other room. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I have my John Lennon interview, but that's a thing you keep, you know, that's right. a thing you, you, you cherish. Um, but uh, so a lot of the really good stuff we did, uh, I was, somewhere I found my interview with all of the Grateful Dead. Somebody put that online. So I, I simply wait for my entire career to go online because kids would sit at home and like a show so much they would record it on their little home tape recorder at like three and three quarters inches per second. And then now they still have it, so they put it up on the Internet. So I'm just hoping that maybe somebody had that show. 
Well, the strange thing about that show was that we actually, after the show was over, we had people calling the station who wanted to turn their, their brother in or turn their son in. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. It was just amazing. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, you know, so that that was, uh, you know, uh, those were some fun times. But anyway, that was my history with Falk, and he, he was he was he was special. Uh, and I remember um, a Wallach. I don't know where I don't know where my Wallach interview is. It's somewhere because I kept every single show that I ever did at uh, at uh, at Siri, uh, Sirius XM. You, in fact, I have on my on my uh, Roku channel. I have uh, kind of like old interviews, and I do them by era. And you'll see that, like in the 1960s, I have like one interview uh, with uh, Timothy Leary. And then you go to the next phase of my life, which is really um, uh, WMCA, and I start having maybe five or six interviews. By the time you get to Live 105, I've got like 20 or 30. And, you know, um, at Sirius XM, there are just a ton of them. So, it, And the reason was because the media they were stored on got smaller and smaller and easier to keep. Yeah. You know, so. And now the problem is I, I my uh, friend... Uh, uh, Damien is sending me out uh, boxes of my of my interview tapes, which I've got almost all of them now. The cassettes, God, I'd love to and, go those. but there were so many of them, you know, that I had to like pick and choose stuff to 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 dub off when I'd see a name, you know, that was worthy of remembering, like Louis C.K. as an example, or uh, you know, whatever. Of course, I've had to take him off of my files because of course he's been <laughs> he's been sullied and I can't possibly have an interview by him in my files you know I, I've had to extricate it that bothers me you know that bo what bothers me is the destruction of people's work because they might have or you know or, or the innuendo was made that they might have goosed somebody at some time yeah, no, nothing, uh, nothing in court. They're just gone. You know, they just get uh, ruined. With yeah, them. yeah, and 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 you know, uh, the question is: Do you do you denounce a person's entire body of work because of what they've, you know, what they've supposedly done or not done? Well, that that's what they did in the McCarthy era. That's what they did with Fatty Arbuckle. You know, yeah. but you don't do that. Today, you say, okay, look, maybe the charges against Woody Allen are true, although they've been disproved by the police department. But the Dylan Farrow was not telling the truth. You know, oh, well, they don't believe women. That's the problem. Yeah, but now you don't believe guys. So, you know, what? Which? what's wrong and what's right? It's all wrong. Yeah, it's pretty uh, but, ugly. But the fact was they checked into it and they couldn't find any basis for her claims that Woody Allen molested her. But yet that has come up again, and so people are starting to not want to work with him. Studios are not wanting to release his pictures, you know. And so and probably his whole body of work starts to get sullied. And and that I think is wrong. I think the work should be separated from the person and from the, the whatever the person did wrong. You know, I hated John Wayne's politics, but I had to admit that after I saw a couple of John Wayne movies that I really, I began to understand why he was great. And so we're getting back where we began here in this whole conversation, and that's John Wayne. He did a movie that I saw uh, called uh, The Common Cheros. And uh, there in full view was the John Wayne persona, the character he had created for the screen that all America loved. And I watched him and I said, he's great. He's a great movie star, mm -hmm. you know? And um, I mean, even down to the fact that he's, 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 he's taking this guy, he's, he's like a, a, a bounty hunter and he gets this guy who is a, supposedly French 
And throughout the whole picture, he keeps referring to him as Monsoor. <laughs> hey, Monsoor. <laughs> you know, why don't you come with me, Monsoor? What do you think you're doing, Monsoor? And I'm just going, brilliant. Because he could have said Monsieur, but he didn't. He Monsoor. You know, because he knew his character. Yeah. He knew the character people loved. And he violated that character when he did True Grit because he played really a bad guy who's kind of a good guy. Uh, but even in that, he was still John Wayne with a patch over his eye. There was still something. That persona was still there. And even to the end, when you get to the shootest, you see that persona in full force. So it's, you know. Hey, we came full circle. And what do you know? John Wayne to John Wayne. We came to another end of one of our discussions here. <laughs> Which always turns out to be about me. Anyway. But, uh, you, I love to hear you talk about movies, man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he's lovely. He's wonderful. He's one of my favorite people in the whole goddamn world. Larry Bubbles Brown. <laughs> You're the only one that still likes me, Alex. Thanks. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Ah, yes. Okay. Let me see here. Does that thing work? Okay, it does work. Okay. I pushed a button and it didn't button. It didn't do what it was supposed to do. And uh, then, uh, then I probably blasted you out with that audio on the on the break and so on. But so what? Thank you, Larry. Love love talking with Larry because he gets me talking. And uh, we t I tell a lot of stories when he's on. So I love having him. As, as, he's almost like a co-host. And um, uh, the reason I, I, uh, we don't have any video on him is, and uh, let me turn on my light. Eh, there you go. You happy with that, girlfriend? See, she bought me that light, so I have to turn it on every night. Um, Larry um, is just a, a wonderful, wonderful person, a wonderful talent. And I love having him on because he makes me talk. And he makes me talk about stuff. And that's good. And I appreciate it, and I, I thank him for it. Now, look, I got uh, we got a couple things going here. Uh, before we we go all the way, uh, let me see here. Why is that not changed? Why are we? Uh, why are we? Let me let me let me just uh, reload this page here. Uh, and load the page. There we go. Okay. For some reason, I, something here wasn't. Uh, syncing up with everything else. Anyway, I, I have too many things to look at. If I if I actually took this camera down, you would see all these things I got here, and I got picture over here to reference, and I got a picture over here to reference. Now, what we did, we did something special and new. I did this last night, and I went, you know, I'm I'm absolutely. I don't know why I haven't gone to YouTube before this. I guess Facebook Live went live, and I said, okay, that's the way to go, boy. And then we did it, and we got lots of people watching in the beginning. And then, of course, it, it lightened up a lot as time went on because everybody's used to Facebook Live. But the transmission of this YouTube picture I found from last night when I was watching it is phenomenal. The picture is just great. And on top of that, on top of that, it's almost like we, 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 we had glasses that were dirty and we cleaned them now. And, and everything's clearer and brighter and whatever. And the sound is terrific. And on top of that, it's the first time, without having to go through a lot of stuff, that we could actually put the live video program on gabnet.net. So if you're listening to us right now on gabnet.net, just go over to gabnet.net, and it'll just come right up, the picture of me talking and doing all of that. Uh, it's right there on the page. And if you, uh, if you still go over to Facebook Live, just click on the, uh, on the, the, the YouTube picture, and uh, it'll take you to a page where we're going live. And it, once you get that page, which happens to be facebook.com uh, forward slash Bolo Bennett, B-O-L-O-B-E-N-N-E-T-T. -E -E -T. That was my nickname. Forward slash, uh, and then, oh, no, not forward. Yeah, forward slash live. That'll take you to that page. And then what you can do is you can tab that page. You can make it a tab on your browser. And anytime you want to watch the show, uh, uh, when it goes on, you just do it by 
clicking on on um, uh, clicking on the uh, I got to get rid of a lot of stuff here. Hold on a second, folks. I'm having to clean shit up. Um, hold on. Oh, that's not time yet, Phil. I can't do it yet, Phil. I got to get rid of a lot of this garbage I've got here. Hold on a second. Uh, let me let me see here. I uh, he's I got to get to him. Hey, Amen. Uh, hold on a second. Let me see here. Uh, wait, ho hello, Phil. Hold on a second. I'm just trying to clean up here. I I was trying to clean up my. See, folks, I'm doing it now. You can see me doing it on your screen. Now I'll go to Phil. There we go. There's Phil. Yeah, I, I, I won't talk until I'm. Yeah. Huh? I, I, you know, if you answer the Skype call, I won't talk until I'm acknowledged. Mm hmm. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'm having a little trouble with the switcher tonight, too. It's, it's yeah. kind of acting up. But uh, other than that, the picture goes out beautifully now. It's just amazing. Yep. Uh, I don't know why I didn't do YouTube a long time ago. It's so much better than Facebook. Well, you were afraid that you get too many followers and you'd start getting compensated for your time. And, yeah. Uh, you know, and right. you might have to put a few kitty cats on. Yeah, I'd have to put kitties on. Maybe we should run kitties every night. Just, just you know, a funny kitty uh, video. On another show, huh? just uh, do a loop of a cat. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I could do that. Uh, let's see. We can't have naked women, though. I can't do that. Uh, uh, but but I could get a woman in a in a t-shirt with uh, with big tits. What? I think it's Facebook. You can't have naked women. Uh, no, I think you you, you, you got you, you, yeah, It's it's iffy on on YouTube. I'll, I'll ask my friend because he's got two books out. Yeah. Uh, on naked women. Uh, -oh. uh it, one's called private bodies and the other one's called public bodies yeah and what he's done is he's gone all over the world taking pictures of regular people that invited him into their home mm -hmm. to photograph them in the nude and then he does another series where he in public photographs people like uh on the uh ponta alexander oh, I, in paris I, yeah. and at in front of the louvre and oh i uh, see well and, that's but you see that's art i don't I'm not thinking in terms of art. I'm just thinking of a woman sitting here. Instead oh, well, of me. Instead of me. I could just turn the camera off of me and just put it on the woman. Could be art. I mean, you know. Well, I could say I'm doing an art piece. I'm doing a talk show, and we're letting the breasts do the talking. Right. Uh, and, you know, you, on, uh, was it cable TV or broadcast TV where they had a news uh, program where the people did it in the nude? Uh, uh, that, that was a, the naked news. Naked news. It, was yeah. that broadcast or no, uh, no? It was the internet, and it was. I think to me, it was the stupidest idea I ever saw. Okay, and it was. It stopped it, looking. It, <laughs> huh? No. Did you I, stop looking? No. I, absolutely, I stopped looking because yeah. I thought it was dishonest. Mm. A dishonest, and you say how so? And I say in this respect, it was dishonest. That they're they're saying, okay, we got the naked news. Here we are. We're naked. Uh, okay. Mm. Are you gonna do anything else? You're gonna play with them? You're gonna do something? No, we're just going to read you the news. Oh, well, okay, that's funny. I'll see you later now. I've gotten the joke, and now it's on to other stuff. Is that kind of like a nudist camp kind of thing where people just want to be nude but uh, and do what they normally do? No, they, there were women who wanted to make a buck, and these guys paid them money to do the news naked. All right. And, and, and it really wasn't a very good newscast either. Yeah, and the bodies weren't that great, so it didn't, it really didn't, and none of it worked. And they're st they're still on; they're still around. Really? Yeah, you can look up naked news, and you can go see the naked news. All right. Well, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I I can't say that I've ever watched it. I've heard about it, but never watched it. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, but I, uh, anyway, we need more callers. By the way, what is this? It's been so slow the last couple of weeks i think maybe i maybe i should bring this maybe i should just start doing this one day a week and then maybe people would appreciate it more and yeah, just run the uh run the video uh five days a week or four days a week uh, what do you mean run the video run it uh just do one live well, show I mean, I'm not, but i'm not getting i'm not getting any callers here yeah i yeah. that wouldn't that wouldn't change 
Well, no, it would, because if uh, you couldn't spread the calls, you've got the, the usuals, you know, myself and a few others. And uh, if you only had one day to call in, uh, you do your thing and then just rerun it the rest I of mean, the week. I mean, if it weren't for you tonight, I wouldn't have anybody. And usually sometimes by this time I'd have four or five people. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, is there something going on tonight? No, or there's nothing uh, going on tonight. Oh, you know, I, I can understand last night, uh, you know, you were uh, preempted by Trump almost. <laughs> yeah. well, well, I, you know, you started when he finished. Uh, yeah, the, there's always the um, uh, Democrats uh, view of things and the Republicans view of things. And uh, there was a lot going on. Well, I don't think that that prevented people from necessarily calling. We got, you know, we, we had, what, four people last night. Well, but usually, yeah, the usual I'm, usually I'm used to a full house or even a royal flush, you know, and that hasn't been happening lately. So yeah. I think well, maybe everybody's just tired of this thing, and maybe I should give up on this and come up with something new, you know. Well, you know, it's a, the funny thing is, is once you give up, uh, you know, it was uh, success is only around the corner, <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, listen, I've been doing this for four years. Around the corner, it's more like across the country, all right? Well, yeah, you know, it would be a lot harder. Uh, but, you know, I, I have no problem with uh, you just doing your program for an hour, mm -hmm. and it's very entertaining, and you get a lot of people watching. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily have feedback to... Uh, to, to bounce off or you could actually have people call in uh, here and there like a regular talk show oddly enough we I have, a, I have a, one thing about this new thing I've got a, a, it just has a big number of how many people are watching at this moment yeah well that does not translate at the end of the night it turns out we had more people than that but uh, and it, it, there's a lot of people it's just you and I but, you know, come on, folks. I mean, I love Phil, and I love talking with Phil. But do you really want to just hear Phil? Well, uh, I, and I'm not, I'm not trying to put you down for that, Phil. But No, yeah. I, I was your only guest once before. Really? Yeah, uh, in Sausalito during the... No, uh, that, that was spots. radio. That was radio. We didn't... Oh, no radio. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So right. anyway, folks, uh, you know it's uh, it's Skype. You go over to you go over to gabnet.net, and it tells you exactly how to use that and how to call. So it even has a little button you can push that will dial you, you dial up this program. So you All know. Right. Hey, can I ask you some questions? Yeah, uh, well, you may as well. We've got to kill time here. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, would you uh, applaud any of these items? Uh, the statement, uh, America being strong, is, is, that, is that an applaudable statement? Not necessarily, no. All right. How about raising, rising wages? Is that something that you'd applaud? If it were true. Well, I think it is. Well, no, uh, no it how isn't, about, but uh, I'll, I'll explain to you why it isn't true. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Tell me. No, well, go, just go ahead with your little game here. Okay, how about black unemployment being at its lowest level? Uh, do you know what it was uh, uh, in, uh, in Obama's last year? No. Do you know how much it had gone up? No. Yeah. It had gone up, what was it? 50%. It had gone down 50%. It yeah. had gone. It had gone from a high of something like 17-something down to 12. I don't know what it was exactly the number, but it was much more of a drop. And there's only been about one percentage drop during this year. And right. part of that was the, uh, what can we call it? The, uh, uh, the, the increased uh, rate, rising yeah, wages and no, increased no, no, economy. No, no, it was, it was just, a, it was because of Obama, really, because it was just the aftermath. It was just well, the, I, I, the I'm, flow. I'm just going. asking you not to, not to award. So anybody. I wouldn't, I wouldn't applaud it because it's not true. Black unemployment did not improve as much this year as it has in the last past that, couple of years. That was the issue. Is it at its lowest point? Well, today? That, but that's like that's like it's been no, the last but, twenty no, years. No, but that's like that's like saying, uh, "Hey, we had a flood last year, and we were <laughs> up at twelve feet, and now we're down to one foot." See you know, how much I, I we've can't, lowered. You know, see, you know, no, he, no, no, because I can't see a, a low if, if over a period. Uh, over the, like the last couple of years, maybe there was a three percent drop in one given year, and now there's a one percent drop. I don't see that as being phenomenal. 
It, I didn't say it was phenomenal. It just is a fact that it's yeah, its but lowest I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to applaud that because it's it's fake statistics. Could have gone up. It's fake statistics. Right. How about tax cuts? Tax cuts for who? The eighty-five percent who are, the, the eighty-five percent that are going to get it who are wealthy already. You know what? Uh, what they said was that the uh, tax cuts are actually for a family of four uh, making seventy-five thousand dollars a year. It's going to put four thousand dollars more in their pockets, and that's fifty percent. That is one little slice that they uh, give, but they don't mention. They don't mention that eighty. That ninety-five percent of the tax cut will benefit something like the richest ten percent in this country. The ones that are paying all the taxes. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. No, no, no. They're not paying all the taxes. They're paying less than a proportional share of taxes because they have their they have all these these lawyers who figure out they can, how they can get away with pay, paying less. Where okay. little Joey Joey Schmo lives in my apartment house doesn't have the benefit of that kind of right. thing. So uh, things like uh, the repeal mandate and <laughs> in God we trust, I know where you're going to answer on that. How about jobs coming back to the United States? Is that something you would applaud? Uh, if they were coming back to the United States? No. Well, uh, because how about approving the, more life-saving drugs? Now that I, I, uh, that I, that I was for, but now what, what are we, we going to have to pay for that? Well, I, if we approve them, let's say. Well, you know, well, well the question eight, is: the question Christ. is, do you um, um, do you what's the word I'm looking for? Do you um, uh, do you approve them? Do you approve them? But you don't vet them. In other words. What are we going to do? Are we going to just let them gut the, the market with drugs, some of which may kill you, some of which may not? Uh, we want to know that these, these drugs at least have a certain amount of safety, and they should go through a certain amount of vetting. What he's trying to do is get rid of that vetting. Well, I think he wants to streamline the vetting. But the thing is, you remember during the AIDS crisis, there were there were drugs, but people couldn't get them. He wants uh, to make a fortune for the drug companies. Uh, by doing I don't that. Know, because, by doing that. Uh, uh, you know, you know, if the hey, drug by, the, by the way, folks, if I don't start getting some callers before uh, the hour. Oh, well, here comes Renee. <laughs> OK, I spoke too early. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, All right. Yeah, there's Renee, and and I hear I hear she's got like spectrum out there now, so she should even have a better picture. Uh, you there, Renee? Here she comes. Yeah, I think I'm here. Here's, look at oh, her. Look at that picture. It's glorious, and it's the first time we've seen you this year. Yeah, it's it, and I almost called you on the iPad, but the sunset isn't really cooperating. Oh, okay. So we've, got a, uh, we've got a storm, so. And, and the white balance on your camera, uh, if you could make it a little less red. Well, yours that, is too orange. Mine's too orange? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, nah, mine's not. I don't mind that she's got sunlight. She's no, got the sun <laughs> coming down in Hawaii, shining <laughs> on her face. You're going to make me and, feel bad. Now and, I'm, and I'm about. sorry if she if I, her I, white balance isn't something you approve of. Well, I'm just letting her know she knows how to do it. God knows it's hard, hard enough that we uh, to get her to call this show. But now that she's <laughs> called it, let's not insult her camera. Well, no, I, no, I, just, I just have to find it. It's a setting. <laughs> but I got to say. Mean, that's, that's what I'm doing. It's a setting, damn it. it, it, Leave me it, it it's, the best, <laughs> it's the best picture that I have seen uh, from you in the whole time we've been doing this program. Yeah. So, so hey, if, uh, what are, are you still putting in floors? Is that why you're uh, so pulled apart? Well, no, I moved my stuff back in the house. What did, they, what did you do? Move out for a while? Well, I had to move it because floors are, of course, the bottom. So you have to move everything out of the house when you redo floors. Yeah. So it's really freaking irritating. Sorry. <laughs> I did <it> every day. <laughs> Go, man. I We had to. And so the happiest day was when the carpet guy came in to put the carpet in the um, master bedroom. So, mm -hmm. but all the rest of the floors are done. I just don't have a lot of protection on oh, them I'm yet. Sure. I'm and sure. then I've got boxes everywhere i'm sure yeah, so you, yeah when you get floors uh in uh in hawaii do you uh, is are you in your in your county are you able to find people to do them or did you have to shop outside of your county uh, at one of the other islands to get them to to do it 
So I for the so I found the kind of tile I wanted, and they had to ship that in. Uh-huh. But the floor pe- it was not hard to find floor people here. Um, I wish for that thing I was on Maui because then I have a carpet one choice. Yeah. Over here, there's no carpet one choice. That really kind of sucked because with carpet one in, in mo- some of the places Folks, you Folks, we're get in the choice. middle of a carpet discussion because <laughs> Phil sells carpet. And if you want to go not- out and have a smoke right now, be my guest. Yes, we're go talking ahead. About flooring. We're talking about tile. Carpet, Excuse hardwoods. me, we're, we're having a flooring <laughs> discussion, ladies and gentlemen. So, <laughs> if, if you know, next we're going to discussing, we're going to go over and watch paint some dry. paint dry, paint which yeah. I think will be really fun. Let's get back to where we were, okay, what? Mister. Okay. Sorry. Okay, I think we were talking about white bound. No, <laughs> we, we, no, we were talking about the drug thing where he want, wants them to be vetted faster. I would have to see the plan before I could yeah. applaud it. You know. Uh, yes, I think that we sometimes take too lug, long to vet drugs, but if we make it too easy, then we have companies throwing stuff on the market that some of which may be bad, okay? And then, uh-huh. we, then we start suffering from that. Yeah, if somebody's dying, uh, you know, the question is, should we give them something that's risky, but it might save his life? Um, you'd have to start making some rules about that but i i i, I that the, it, that part of his speech i didn't i didn't mind you know but but phil could tell us about that because he was almost if if his prostate cancer was a a year to a two years before he would have been he would have had to make the decision where there's the only a couple places on the planet that mm-hmm. would save his life he's lucky that Eastern European countries have already been using it and has already had it out there as for trial and had already gone through all of this testing. Mm-hmm. But because I, he was actually, a couple years later, I actually right? decided not to do that procedure, the one that David uh, uh, right. uh, uh, did in Czechoslovakia. Um, and, yeah, and uh, uh, I'm just going to get it torn out. <laughs> but, but see, it's still. A, but he was on the cusp, so he had a choice. Well, he you know, did. before you, you know you wouldn't have had the choice. And this isn't new to Trump, so this is really funny that its heads come up again because we've had this problem multiple times through recent history, where the FDA wasn't fast tracking drugs, and then that's where that all came up at in the whole conversation as they named the program the fast track of drugs. So we've been working fast tracking drugs for probably what, 10 or 15 years now. So this is another push for that. But in Europe, drugs come to the market much faster than they come to the market in the United States. Is it that they're not vetting them in Europe or are we just overly regulated in the the States? Maybe both. Maybe both. Probably a little bit of both. Look, I don't argue that we haven't been a little overregulated. And that well, here comes Jeff. Jeff knows this field. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, oh, oh boy. Did you hear what we were talking about? <laughs> uh, he was bringing up the the question of uh, that Trump came up with last night that he wants to speed up the vetting process on drugs. Uh, approving more life saving drugs was his uh, term. <sighs> When did we do that fast track stuff? Do you remember, Jeff? Oh, that was a long time ago. But you know, the, the problem with oh, there's two big problems with drugs. There's, there's, I mean, forget about the money and the cost and all that stuff. But there's a, there's a lot of research and testing that they have to do to validate that the thing actually works well. And, and it can take months and months to do that. But it's been taking years. Well, and, and that's the problem. It's the science that's that's slow. How come the Europeans yeah. uh, can get them to market so much faster than we can? Oh, because they're not as thorough as we are. I wasn't going to say that. That's not because that's some, the reality. <laughs> well, they they have a tendency to have more people willing to do the more hazardous kind of testing. You see, here, so, here, here, let me, well, let me, you know, let, you could say that we're just much more cautious. Yeah, we could say that too. Well, also you could say, and this is, uh, you know, it, that, that we're, we're not in the, uh, the, 
we're not right to make this kind of decision because we don't know the realities of medicine. Uh, but neither is Trump. OK. And, and, and uh, you know, I, I never heard of him being he's no brain surgeon. All right. But he's a cabinet member that is uh, a brain surgeon. And he's and uh, he's got. Yeah. And if you check that cabinet member, he probably has like drug stocks. You know, <laughs> we just found out that who the head of the uh, what was it? CDC. Yeah. Didn't she have to resign? Yeah. Or she, didn't... Yeah. Because she had tobacco stocks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a couple other things that were just as egregious. So, you know, uh, do we really trust his people to make the decisions on this stuff? Wouldn't they just let him sell his stocks? Huh? Uh, sell his stocks? I think it was a she. She? Uh, uh, or sell her stock? Well, the fact <laughs> is she had them, but she didn't tell anybody, you know. Oh, she didn't disclose it. Yeah. Wait, is she a Trump or is she a hold oh, she's a Oh, tr she's a tr I think she's a Trump appointee, yeah. Oh, yeah. so again, failure to disclose I have, have I have no idea what the re reasoning was, but they found this out, and so she quit as a result of people finding out. It's yeah. so funny that you guys don't think failure to disclose in some cases is a real law, a law that you're not allowed to break law. I thought it was don't ask, don't tell. Yeah, that law you can break all you want. Yeah. Don't cross uh, state lines with a minor. That may uh, that one uh, I know. You know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Okay, so now that you're talking about what would I applaud or not applaud because you're, you're, you're undoubtedly talking about Trump's speech last night Absolutely. and the fact that he applauded everything. That's how bad he was. He sat there every it time he said speech. something and then he went, <laughs> you don't applaud your fucking self, asshole. <laughs> Sorry. You know, uh, but every time he would say something and they'd start applauding, you know, isn't that a uh, a common reaction uh, when you're in a, no, in a crowd not, and no, somebody starts no, to? No, no, not if not. not if you're a person who speaks in front of other people. I've never allowed myself to applaud myself. I would applaud somebody else when I say, "Here's so and so," and then I would go right. like that. But when I would tell a joke and everybody laughed, I didn't go <laughs> for me. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, oh, no. I no. Anyway, you. anyway, anyway, give me a couple other uh, of, of you. <laughs> so. Uh, well, that made uh, it worth buying, didn't it? Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. Now you can write it off. How about more infrastructure spending? More Finally. infrastructure spending. I, I don't think anybody could possibly be against that. Except, except that, his, pr that his, price, except. his price was too low. He said uh, about not, uh, what a more it's still more a trillion and uh, a half women a trillion and a half dollars the estimate right yeah. for really fixing all the infrastructure in this country all the bridges that are falling down sounds like a nursery rhyme uh, yeah. uh, uh, it, it will cost somewhere around thirty trillion dollars not if you and, start red states and. That the United States federal government is only going to pitch in X dollars, a very small amount, and he thinks all the rest of that stuff is going to come from the states. Yeah. So I mean, I, I, he I, he it, good good thought. Nobody disagrees with it. Uh, bad budget. You know, uh, the thing is, yeah, if he budget. spends the is money it? he says he wants to spend on stuff, we're going to be, be so deep in debt in this country that China will be able to buy it for pennies on the dollar. In fact, the, see, the, that was my point. And they'll have to fix it. The dollar is at no. a real low, by the way, internationally. That's yeah. great. Oh, that, no, see, oh. that was my point. That This is the People point I've been trying to make. This is the point. When, when Trump got elected, this was the point I was trying to make. We are going to go down this shithole. We're not going to be worth anything. And between China owning most of the owning a lot of land stuff in the United States and Russia coming in to help us from going bankrupt, Putin is going to own us and we're going to be his bitch. You know, uh, when it comes to a weak dollar, that's very good for exports of American product. Uh, now, we can protect... If you know, yeah. if you go to some countries and you want to buy property, you can only own forty nine percent of that property or business. Uh, it has to be owned uh, in a majority by a national of that country, whether it's the Philippines or England or Germany uh, and Canada. This but, is the deal. 
That's different for every country. It's different for every country. Yeah, don't act many, like that countries, is. many, many countries uh, have that deal where a national has to own 51%. So why couldn't we have the same deal here? Yes, if you want to invest in this country, you can invest in this country, but you can't own it. Uh, in, in its entirety. Well, and I, I remember years ago in Spain, for instance, you had the Gillette Safety Razor Company of Spain because yeah. uh, at least 50% of the or 51% of the ownership mm -hmm. had to be Spanish. So you had to have right. Spanish partners in order to do that. Uh, the fiat in Spain was called the Ciat. Ciat. Uh, Ciat yeah. uh, you know, and. Um, uh, it was a shit as a fiat, too. Yeah, well, <laughs> fiat was. You know, it stands for fix it again, Tony. Uh, you know, uh, it was. Uh, but anyway, the point is, yes, countries did do that. And I always have said that is not the worst idea in the world. But I don't think Trump would go along with that. Trump would. More, he wants more infrastructure well, spending. Wants, no, now it's no, no matter. Im, infrastru how much. No, infrastructures. We just changed topics. You were talking about half ownership in uh, being oh. uh, American. Oh. And, and you got off and said that, uh, uh, Renee said that the Chinese and the Russians were going to buy us lock, stock, and barrel. You said that the dollar is weak, and that will allow them to do that. But I said, because of a weak dollar, it's very it's very good to have a weak dollar because then other countries will buy your goods and services because okay. it's valuable. Well, it's bad for okay. me because I can't afford to go to Europe. Okay, so stop for a second. It's not very good. It's just part of being balanced. So that's the first oh. statement when you say that. When it's and, not I, and, and we have to be balanced and we have to have that whole yin and yang approach to, to the finances of this. But one of the bad things that is happening, Phil, even that the dollar is low, nobody wants to, our tourism is down so much because of this guy. Nobody wants to come to our country. So even though that it's cheap to come here and then they get a big bonus for com coming anyway, they're not coming. They don't want to come well, near I don't know that's, that to be true, but I'm not oh, going to... Oh, sure, I'm that not, was just reported a couple days ago. Yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. no, the, the, uh, the, uh, the tourism into this country is waning. But yes. tourism into all countries are waning no. because of... No, uh, no, 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 Don't you think twice about going to Paris? No. I, 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 you no. Know, between, not including the flood that's no. happening. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, you know, that, my ass there in first believe class. me, that would stop me from going before uh, terrorism would. Oh. Yeah. You know, I, I, well, I stand a chance of getting bombed just as easily in New York City as I would going to Paris. That's true. No, you, you'd get hit by a plane in New York before you get bombed. Yeah. But, you know, what, you, what they could say over there is, is if you go to a state like Montana and you're a tourist, you have like a 47 percent chance of getting shot or something like that. You have a 100 percent chance of getting lost in the forest. That's it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, know. you know what? I have to look up that statistics because I think it was 42 people per year are killed. Yeah. OK. That might not be a right number. Well, that, that's hunters, you know. Uh, yeah. We don't care about them then. Uh, try another one. Would you applaud the desire for more prosperity? Well, I mean, it's such a nebulous <laughs> statement. I, I more prosperity. Absolutely no. Prosperity? No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't applaud it because it's just, well, it, it sounds like something a politician would say uh, right. in an election it, campaign. Well, we're going to have more prosperity. Rhetoric. Yeah, okay. It's rhetoric, but you know, that's that's what the no, speech is all no, about. But then I wouldn't I wouldn't what applaud that. I wouldn't applaud that. No. You want to be more presidential. That's how they do. Okay. Let, let's try this one. How about uh, compromising on immigration? Compromising yeah. on so immigration. Okay, but what's Democrats, Okay, but so what, no, wait a minute. But wait a minute. You can say it in a speech. But now you got to put your money where your mouth is. How are we going to compromise on it? What compromises are we going to have to make? Well, he wants an end to catch and release, an end to the visa lottery, and merit-based immigration. So, uh, and the end of sanctuary cities. Well, he doesn't want sanctuary. Yeah, end of sanctuary cities. Uh -huh. And but you know, uh, he's going to stop happened? cities from doing what they want to do. Is that what I you're saying? But, oh, wait, I've got it. States' rights. States' rights. Phil's always saying states' rights. Sanctuary cities are under state. They, they have all the rights they want as long as I agree with them. But, uh, you know, <laughs> any, the, the idea is that 
uh, it's going to come to the Supreme Court mm -hmm. and uh, on the sanctuary city thing. Uh, mm -hmm. they'll, there'll be a court case and there'll be a ruling. And we'll find out whether sanctuary cities are legal and uh, and, and and can be. Uh, I can think be I, I think that would come in under states' rights, if you want my opinion. Oh, well, probably. Uh, that, I that, right. that, that these cities have a right to do what they want to do. And by the way, right. you know, you've got your you've got your camera set so it constantly is focusing. Really, I don't know why. Um, well, because it's, you've it's got not to allowing me to. It's not it's allowing the, me to control it right now. It's the yeah. big target behind your head. I think it's aiming for something. No, yeah. but it's yeah. not on the focus. <laughs> uh, by the way, right? while you're trying to find that, let me just uh, tell people here that uh, this is uh, this is the ramble, and we would like more callers. It's been very quiet the last though, but week and a half. So come on, where's everybody else? Or, you know, it's certainly, and, certainly it's not that you can't use an excuse that you can't find the video because all you have to do is go to gabnet.net and it's up there live right now. So, you know. And I, and I will help you, so goodbye. What do you mean? I will be right back. Why, where are you going? Over to the sunset. Oh, you okay, she's going, <laughs> oh. oh. She, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a Hawaiian sunset any moment now. That's but right. let's also have some people calling here too. Oh, here she goes. She's uh, already. I think she's at the other uh, her other machine, which is a, uh, a, 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 a desktop. Are you there, Renee? Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I can't see my. Okay, can you see what's happening? Or can you? See no, you. No? You. We've all we've got is you. Okay, that's not. Oh, all you have is me. Yeah, the, the elephant. That's... Excuse me, not you. I don't want to. Oh, just... okay. So I keep hitting the video thing, and it's not coming up the other side. Uh, but this is the Skype issue, and I just checked; it's an up-to-date Skype. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to take you to the sunset, but it looks like that's not going to happen. I guess it's not going to happen either. That or, you know, turn your machine around, the other machine around. Anyway. Yeah, that's uh, true. Yeah, okay. it it could be that you've got. Uh, and who knows? Okay. Who knows? All right. Go back I to your other machine. Anyway, uh, as so anyway, I would like more people to call. If this keeps going on like this, I'm just going to do the show once a week. Why should I? Why should I work my ass off and then people don't call? All right. So I, I can't do anything with the uh, webcam settings right now. Yeah. Well, just take it off of autofocus whenever you can. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. I think I did, but it's yeah. not. Yeah, you're fine. No, it's fine now. It doesn't seem to have a problem now. Well, I took it yeah. off autofocus. Yeah, I always have to take mine off autofocus because if I this one, because if I if I if I don't take this off of autofocus, uh, it starts pumping back and forth. You know, trying to constantly I, focus. The zoom won't adjust. Nothing will adjust. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. something going. Yeah. Uh, anyway, mm -hmm. uh, where were we? Uh, so what he wanted to do was uh, compromise on immigration and catch and release and the visa lottery and merit-based immigration. So he wants those things. Well, he but was wrong on one thing, by the way. What's that? Uh, uh, th this is absolutely true. That he, did, he got this all wrong. Oh, the chain uh, uh, be, uh, about, because it was just... Uh, it's uh, not uh, uncles I, and aunts and things right. like that. That's, I, I read that, uh, yeah. that that was false. Well, I but, read a, I read a whole list of things that were false in his speech last night, but we won't talk about that. Uh, but there was a, several things that were true. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I read that same thing, and uh, and he, you know, wants to give aid to allies and not enemies. What's what's so wrong with stopping to try to buy friends? You know. Uh, why should we give aid well, to people? Well, who's an ally? Us? Who's an ally? Uh, tell me who he would consider an ally. Well, obviously Israel. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't know that they're an ally. After all, they have spied on the United States. Yeah, well, you know, everybody has got their... Uh, uh, I just don't try to excuse it, Phil. They have spied uh, on the United States. Uh, would you we, say that England is our ally? Would you say that I, France is our ally? Uh -huh. Uh, England, France, yeah. Germany. How about Russia? Uh, I they could be, but I don't think they, want it. <laughs> they just want us to lift the sanctions. In what fucking universe, my friend? Well, you know, uh, the Chinese were our enemies mm -hmm. uh, and weren't our allies before a ping pong game uh, put on by Kissinger. 
uh, the uh, the Japanese were uh, bombing. Make no Hawaii. mistake about it. The Chinese are not our allies. Well, no, they are but we're, at war. We're, they are at war with us economically, which is the best way to fight us. They are competitors. No, no, no. Let me let me tell this to you. You know, there were, people said, "Oh, the Chinese want to take over the United States," and uh, they the want Chinese the world. long ago realized they couldn't do it through military strength. Okay, no. but so they bought. But economic strength, they could take us to the woodshed, and they have. Yeah. Well, and Trump is doing things to make it uh, st to stop sending mm -hmm. our uh, economy over there so that they could just raid us and uh, and uh, raid our uh, intelligence, raid our. Uh, you know what he wants to do? Um, what happened to Renee now? She didn't call back. Uh, maybe she. Boy, this is, this is really grim tonight. Folks. Renee put a quarter in it's that not, machine. It's not that I, I mind Jeff or, 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 or Phil, but I would like I, I like the discourse between a whole bunch of people, and we don't seem to be getting that tonight. And <coughs> and this is getting very uh, very depressing, especially since we're doing very well on the video. By the way, doing very well on the video. So, but anyway, where was I? Or where uh -huh. were you? We were talking about uh, giving aid to allies and not enemies. You asked me who was an ally that we should give aid to. Uh, <clears throat> who do you think we should give aid to? Well, who do we give well, aid I, 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 money? I, I think Iran. I think they, they could use some aid. Uh, they just got $175 billion. Oh, yeah. Well, no, that was theirs. No, it was the Shaw's. No, it was theirs. Yeah. It was theirs. It was money being held. So, no, it was money being held in American banks that they were not allowed to touch. And well, so they could so still they be simply helped. got their money back, and I don't think they got interest on it. Uh, yeah, I don't think it was 175 billion to uh, at first. And how much of it was in cash? I have no idea. It but all I know is that when you talk about it, we didn't give them that money. That was their money. Uh, you know, and and we didn't have a, a you right always, to. Why don't you just say, "Well, I guess that's so, Alex." And you what know? about the? Why do you have to somehow make an excuse? And if you can't make an excuse, you say, "But if that's true, that that's true." That's what you do. Uh, you know, hey, look, that embassy that they took over and held our uh, embassy officials for a year. God, you're like a wife who remembers the time I cheated a, a yeah, on her that back cost, 40 years ago. That cost you $175 billion, uh, Mr. Ayatollah. That's that's where that's where the money should have went. Uh, it should have went to the people that were gone. held in captivity. Okay. Renee, for 30, why aren't you calling back at least? Bring oh, some sensibility to this. Maybe I should call her and see why she isn't calling us back. Let me see here. Let me let me call her. I'm running out of topics. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm running out of topics and I'm running out of patience. Let me see here. Let me call her on Skype and see if we can uh, if we can get her. I don't know what happened to her. Uh, no, she doesn't seem to be answering now. Hmm. Uh, she's trying to get her laptop to work outside. It could, that could be. Actually. Yeah. Hey, uh, so were there any of these topics that you wanted to talk about? Mm. Well, all I know is that um, the speech he gave last night was fu fully packed with lies, distortions, mm. uh, untruths, things like that, you know? And, and dirty laundry. And dirty, and, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, it, it was... It was bad, uh, some of the things he said. I mean, like the thing about Apple with the $350 billion that they're going to spend in America. They never said that. If they bring $350 billion back to the United States from Europe or mm -hmm. uh, other countries, uh, isn't the potential for spending it here much greater than the potential no, for spending could, it there? No, they could take it and spend it there. Nobody's just stopping them from spending them. Well, they're just going to keep it. The, why would they repatriate that money? No, let's say they want to buy a company in Europe. Let's say they want to invest in something in Europe. They have the money. It's the cash, whether it's here or whether it's there. Right. But they don't want to leave it there. They want to bring it here. They're bringing it back because they've had to put it in other banks. And, and Apple well, especially. Apple just loves to, 
to to hoard money. They are mm-hmm. so famous for that, for not spending the cash on hand. Am I right about that, Jeff? You've heard that. I yeah. think I've heard that before. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you know they're doing all sorts of stuff to save money. They took the uh, what do you call it out of the Apple Ten, the thing you plug your earphones into. Uh, then they uh, yeah, making you buy their earphones. Right. You know. Uh, By the way, do you use their earphones or do you use your own special earphones? It depends on where I'm at. Although but, but I, you have to put a dongle on it in order to make it work in the, in the iPhone, right? With, with with my special earphones, but if I use their lightning plug earphones, yeah. I don't. Uh-huh. Uh, but of course, you can't charge it at the same time unless oh, you have. Oh, yeah, pads. that's that's a that's a little problem. And the pad uh, that I that I bought at Apple, uh, it, they don't have their own pad yet. But the pad I bought at Apple is a seven and a half watt pad. But Apple limits the charging thing to five watts, so it takes all night to charge. If you're lucky. Well, I mean, most phones and stuff I plug in at night, you know, and then they have a full charge the next day. Right. Yeah. But we're getting back to Apple and their money, which uh, I, it's very nice of them to say uh, that they're, you know, that they're not going to uh, uh, be. Uh, uh, you know, they're not, that they're going to bring their money back here, but that doesn't mean shit to a fucking tree. You know, oh, it does. If you got three hundred and fifty billion and it's sitting here, uh, it could be reinvested. If you, uh, you know, you, there's a lot of things they can do with it. Uh, they're they're going to build another campus. They're going to add twenty thousand uh, jobs in Silicon Valley. Uh, you know, these are all things that are going to help. Us back. Hey, did you get your thing working? I don't want to talk about Skype. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard you guys talk about Skype enough. I don't want to talk about Skype. Yeah. All right, hold on. Happen? Oh, wow. There we go. Mm. There yeah. we go. Oh, Sunset yeah. time in Hawaii. Damn, the night and blue Hawaii. Oh, I can't see it. Bang, bang, bang. I hate it's being steel taken guitars. over by the dogs. There's yeah. a tail. There's a day, a tail, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a waggy tail. And look at that! Isn't that isn't that mm. nice? Yeah, yeah purple. Now, wh- why did you why did you get your whole house refloored? What, what was the problem? Oh, 33 year old carpet and van- and, and uh, linoleum. Mm. Mm. So, how much did that run you? The Car- the new carpeting for that room was less than two grand with the installation. It was probably about fifteen hundred. Oh, okay. Uh, the tile coming in, um, I used the same tile all the way through the whole house, so it was a little cheaper, and I only had to have it shipped in once, so that was kind of a plus. Um, and I got rid of all of the really old uh, vinyl stuff, so that's you know saves on stuff. Yeah. So what did it come? It came to about five grand all told. Uh, tiles more than that for right. a whole house. Yes, it came about four grand. Money? How what? How much? You see that? I'm going with what Alex said. Okay, is that a good shot or not? That's a wonderful shot. That's beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you remove the fence? Yeah. yeah you know. So at some point in time, when I'm done with my neighbors, I want to put up one of those glass ones. So. Uh-huh. Yeah, they only have a, about a two, so they take a two by four, they route out the bottom, so you're really only looking at like an inch and a half instead of this big rod. Yeah, so, and that's at the end of your deck, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Wow. That's really, that's, let's just sit here and watch that, okay? <laughs> so I do have my shots from the Blood Moon. Oh, oh Really? Oh. Were you able to see it uh, over Hawaii? I heard it was California that was uh, uh, getting the, uh, what, what do they call it when it's in the path? Uh, yeah, actually, it, the, my problem is is my lens is, is not good enough, but I've gotten some video and some shots, which I haven't done anything with yet. But. Well, you have a 150 to 600 what, or 180 to 600. What, what's wrong with that? I couldn't, I couldn't, the red was really difficult for the lens to focus in on. Ah, you, you manually focus. 
Well, I can't. I'm manually blind as We're a bat. We're now having a I photographic can't. lesson from Phil. You can go out and have a so, smoke if you want them. <laughs> so it, it's really hard to, and, and if you video it, it's a little, it's even worse because you you now have to look at the bottom lens of the camera instead of looking through the the lens shot itself. So you kind of have to get used to jumping in between the two. Yeah. Did, did, you, did you get the eclipse as well as the, uh, well, the blue? It was a blue moon that turned orange, and then there's an eclipse, right? I yes. would just go out screaming out in the streets, the gods are trying to get even with this look. Nobody was doing that. Oh. <laughs> it was early in the morning here. Uh, uh, when, it, when it went through, I think it was 6 in the morning. And... 2.30, I was well, at. Technically, it wasn't a blood moon. It was a blue blood moon. Yes, That's what they right. called it. And the and last so, time they had that was 18 something, 18 It was like 60. 150 years ago or something like that. And, so the, the, and the next, time, it's, next time it's going to happen is a week and a half from now. So it's, it's right. not, you know, it's happening. No, it's like now. 33 years or something like that. Really? Oh. But it, it got its name. A blood moon just means that it's the second, excuse me, a blue moon just means it's the second full moon of the month. That's right. But uh, why, did it, why does it turn red? What is that? Uh, because of the placement of the sun uh, behind it, or the Earth yeah. In front so what of it. happened was that's how the eclipse, it, the orange, it's a, is it's a it's a form of eclipse, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it was a total eclipse of the moon this morning in in the Bay Area. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Right. And so the orange cast is the reflection of the sun off of us. Wait, hold on a second. I have to figure this out. So. The sun, it's the reflection of the sun off of us. Yeah, I think that's right. I'll have to look it up. But that's how it got to be orange, is that the color bounces off of us and goes into the moon. That's I how we got the blood orange. Now, now let, me, let me get back to what we were talking about here for a second. Right. Okay. Well, we can, we can talk about horrible Trump things and look at that wonderful sunset in Hawaii. Okay. And it will just take the edge off anything we say. Okay. So anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah. There was one other thing he said, and that was that he wanted to lower the, get the price on prescription drugs lower. Yes. Yes. Now, that I would applaud. However, how's he going to do it? How's he going to bring it about? Uh, he, you know, he, he, can, he can't negotiate the prices of those drugs because there are so many places that those drugs are being bought. CVS, who just bought up Aetna, has a, is in a better position to get drugs at a lower price, I think, than even Trump is. Okay. Well, well, can't he negotiate them for, uh, the fe uh, for federal that's, programs? No, that's not his job. Well, uh, he, no, he can do it for federal programs, but federal programs already can say, okay, we have 100,000 people, let's say, and now we're going to negotiate what we're going to pay for these drugs, and then they're going to have to either go along with it or not go along with it if they want the government's business. But you and I are not the government. We're the country. And yeah. the question is, how do we get them to lower the prices on drugs? I mean, I think some of the drugs are, the prices are absolutely insane. I mean, well, you watch well, the ads, well, you watch the ads on television, and I, sure. I do this a lot. Because when you're watching the uh, the national news at six thirty or whenever it's on in your in your neck of the woods, most of the ads are for drugs. Why? Because nothing but old people watch those newscasts. All, young people don't care, give a shit about those newscasts. They get their news elsewhere. TMZ, uh, you know. So. Uh, uh, they have all these drugs, and then they will say, like, this drug, if you're dying of cancer, this could extend your life, blah, 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 blah. And I'm going, okay. And then you see the fine print, and it says, by up to three months. You know? Right. But anyway, anyway, so then I go online, and I find out what the cost of that drug is. And all of a sudden, I'm looking at $10,000 a month. So mm -hmm. what they're doing is they're holding your life for hostage. Well, let me ask you this. Yes, but those prices that you're hearing are not what I call the real price. So oh, that's what the is stated what, price what, or the suggested retail? Yes, something like that. It, prices may vary in your neck of the woods. Uh, well, no, but wait a minute. Let Jeff explain this because Jeff knows about this. Uh, the, the, when you go to buy, when, when Alex 
gets a pill, yeah. or, or Phil gets a pill, or Renee gets a pill, mm-hmm. it's prob- and they could go to almost the same drugstore and, and get it's different so prices. Different. Yep. Okay? Different prices. And part of that is because a lot of the what we call our price has to do with our insurance company. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, a lot of the stuff that we get is now generic products. Right. And we're approved for those generics because we're 65 years and older. And the doctor approves it. And by the way, these these insurance companies, if you want to get not the generic but the actual <coughs> name brand, uh, they will then charge you for that. They, 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 oh, they, they you know. do a lot. Hmm? Let me ask you, why can't, if we opened up purchasing through Canada, for instance, in Canada, people go across the border uh, that it's convenient for, and they buy their drugs uh, there at a substantial savings over what we pay here. So if all of a sudden uh, the U.S. government said, hey, if you want to go buy your stuff in Canada, go ahead. And uh, then all of a sudden the drug companies well, there's would... No, there's, nothing, the, there's nothing stopping you from going to Canada to buy those drugs. In fact, you can buy those drugs online uh, with a doctor. It's legal. No, yes, it is. Absolutely. Yeah. If I get a doctor's uh, a prescription and script. I send and I script and I send, send it to... Uh, uh, them by, uh, uh, oh, I don't know, fax or whatever, they then will start <laughs> sending me the drugs every month at the so-called lower price. I know I looked into that because I had one drug that was, you know, helping my IBS, but it turns out it went from $300 a month to $2,000 a month. What was it in Canada? In Canada, about half that price at least, but I didn't buy it. I found a better drug to take care of my IBS, it's called probiotics, and they're, yeah. you know, and that. No, took, I suggested that. Th- huh? I suggested that. Yeah, and it, it works, it really works. Yeah. You know, but I mean, the fact of the matter is, how is he going to negotiate that? You know, it's very nice when the, the president, any president, gives his State of the Union address. He gives these pie in the sky promises that he then finds out he can't do a fucking thing about. I mean, this this president honestly believes all he has to do is wave his hand and it will be the law of the land. And that's not true. Great negotiator. You're forgetting about that. He's just got to wave his scepter. <laughs> so listen, if, if he is as good a negotiator as he was when he was here in New York, I'm going to be paying $3,000 for that drug instead of 2000 <laughs> He was a lousy negotiator. Yeah. yeah, so far he hasn't done a good job. So can't wait for him to to put all of that effort in negotiation effort into our medical bills. Yeah, but you know, Renee, he's been stymied by uh, the Congress and the Senate uh, in that he can't get anything done. I mean, those They're- people wouldn't smile last night if he said, I'm going to kiss babies for the next three well, years. Schumer, I don't care. Schumer, They're Schumer, his bitches. Schumer stood They're up and applauded people. something. You know. They are his people. If he can't get his people in line, it's his crap. It takes more than just his people. Uh, maybe he should have thought of that when he was now talking about President Obama. What he wants is to uh, have bipartisan uh, uh, government. You know, yeah. everybody has a say in it. He wants to be a president for all Americans. He said it in his speech. <laughs> well, he isn't. The, he isn't the president of this American. I'll tell you that right now. You know, fourteen million Americans lost their health care with this last bill, and nope then lost their health care. For forty-two percent of the tax deduction that we are giving up goes to the rich people, not to the military, but to the rich. Let me tell you, uh, when there's no mandate, uh, that just means uh, that anybody that wants to buy uh, the Affordable Care Act can still get it. They can still get subsidies based on their income. Mm -hmm. Nothing has stopped except an onerous uh, uh, edict by Obama that said you had to do it. So... 
my every uh, so this not the first year this didn't happen, but the first year everybody was saying that every, that the uh, uh, ACA was going to go up. I wasn't affected, but this year I was affected. So when you talk about whatever credit you think you're going to get from the tax credit you're going to get on your on your um, bill, it's it's not going to be much because mine went up a huge amount. I'm paying just under a thousand dollars a month. And so I, pardon? I'm paying a little more than that. And I have Kaiser, which is, yes. you know, an HMO. You know, yes. I don't have the ability to go wherever I want. But I lost, and before when it was, when President Obama was off in office and before all of these Republicans screwed with it, I was paying like 600 bucks a month. Hey, and so I was, was happy I. paying that amount. I, so was I, but... Uh, uh, you know, things started going up even before the ACA was put into effect because they were afraid of what the ACA would do. Right. But the Republicans didn't help with the ACA. What they did is they put time limit uh, adjustments within the ACA. And this is what everybody's coming to grips with. And most of the things that I've been hearing right now, and I haven't heard anybody say no to this, it's the pre-existing conditions that almost everybody is going to get hit with now. No, because Trump said he would not uh, allow pre-existing conditions to be taken out of any uh, program that the Republicans or anyone else came up with. Okay, I haven't heard that yet. All right. Uh, he liked the 26-year-old thing, and he liked the pre-existing condition uh, exemption, and uh, that that you know, uh, and he, and he likes DACA. <laughs> you know, he wants DACA. He you know instead no, he of he wants no, he doesn't eight, want DACA. He, he wants a he, million, he, no. uh, 1.8 million, and he has a path. Wait a minute, no, he doesn't. He oh yeah, 12 years. <laughs> Wait, 12 he, fucking he years. If he doesn't pass DACA, he's, never. If he doesn't pass DACA, he's not going to have a fourth wife. So fuck that. <laughs> I, I, I doubt he's going to have a fourth wife unless he buys one over in Saudi Arabia. Uh, but, anyway, he already bought one over in Eastern you, Europe. You know, you could sit right there, Renee, and we could see your face, and we'll see the beautiful sunset in the background. Maybe your chair doesn't go over there. It might well, not. Actually, I do. Um, so the other thing I was going to say is, dear Melania, <laughs> divorce his ass while he's still in office so that he can play the victim so that you can get as far away from him as possible. They say, you know, she last night, uh, a lot of women wore black last night in, in deference, and she wore white. And a lot of people were saying she wore white for a reason, that white has been the color, for instance, at the uh, Grammys last week that all the women wore when they were singing a Me Too song on stage. Right. And that white, he, she was wearing white in protest to Donald rather than in support of him. The person that, uh, that had uh, supposedly uh, uh, had the affair with Trump uh, uh, what's her name? Disty, no, Dusty? No, uh, no, uh, oh, no. she was. She Virginia. was on. She was on. Oh, she was great. She was on Kimmel. Yes. Yeah. And she said that she so never much. had an she, affair with him. No, and no, that's said, not what she said. You didn't watch the show. You didn't watch that show. I did not watch the no, show. Okay, well then that isn't what she said at all. What happened what was, say, wait, no. you don't hear the three hundred fifty billion either. <laughs> what? You only hear what you want to hear. You didn't no, hear the I heard the three hundred fifty billion, billion we, but that's money they bring they're what bringing back said. here. They didn't say that's three hundred fifty billion we're gonna spend. Okay. No, anyway, no, let I, me let me I, let me finish with, with, with yeah. Dusty, okay. Okay. Uh, and by the way, we haven't heard from Tim in a while and he loved to talk about Dusty. Anyway. Where was I? Oh yeah. Spaceships have been attacking him. Huh? Remind me to Tim, talk about uh, uh, Anyway, um, uh, no, she was on Kimmel's show, and yeah. he, uh, there had been this, uh, this uh, I don't know, either it was a tweet or a letter. It was a letter uh, signed by Dusty or whatever her name is. Dusty, what's what's her last name? Storm. Storm. Crystal Storm somebody. somebody or, Dirty Storm or something. I don't know, whatever her name is. Stormy Daniels. Stormy Daniels. And, Thank you. And, and so there was this letter, and she signed it, of course, and it said, no, I did not sleep with him. It was a complete blah, 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 and blah, 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 and blah, 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 okay? Like you said, Phil. Right. And then Kimmel said, well, now let's look at the first one you wrote about <laughs> how, the, the first note you wrote. 
and when she <laughs> said you did, and which you said that you were actually being paid not to say anything, and so on. He said, is this your signature? And she says, yeah, that's my signature. He said, now look at the signature from the letter that, I, that, that decries and says this didn't happen. He said, is that your signature? She went, no. <laughs> oh, so, uh, she said that that's not her, her signature. That's not her signature. And, and he kind of, he had to drag it out of her, but eventually she went, uh, I don't know where that letter came from. What did she say? Did she say in the interview that she did not have sex no. with Trump? No. Well, at the beginning, she part, said right? that she said that she has a non-disclosure agreement. Oh, jeez. And so, really? and so Kimmel said, "Well, I suppose that leads us to believe that if you're saying you have this agreement, that uh, you're uh, actually did." <laughs> you actually, you can't and she said she, she kind of said you can think whatever you want to think you know in other words and then he brought out this is great he brought out a stormy daniels puppet and gave it to her and then he had a donald a trump, trump puppet trump. Trump <laughs> puppet wearing his tidy whities okay oh, oh. I, I wish i could show it to you but i'd probably be there probably there's a lot of uh, copyright yeah, infringement. I don't want that in my the, head for the rest the, of the, the night. Tidy whities and then they he said, "Now let me ask you some questions, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and you can have the puppet answer me." And he was doing questions like, uh, yeah. "Did you ever have sex with someone?" Because they had talked earlier about how he supposedly, when he she went up to his room, he he was watching Shark Week because that's one of his favorite shows. And, he, and so he, the puppet says, have you ever had sex with anybody who likes Shark Week? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it was very funny. If you get a chance, you know, it's on, uh, it's on Hulu, it's online. Uh, and if you get to watch it, it's, it's really pretty much a hoot. It really hey, is. You, you have three people on your panel tonight mm -hmm. that, you know, are, are pretty regular and pretty loyal. Mm -hmm. Uh, why don't you pose the question as to whether you think the show should be a one night a week show that gets rebroadcasted? Uh, well, it wouldn't be rebroadcast. It would just be one show a week, and it would be up there for people to watch. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah uh, well, then I'd get two people calling me, so, you know, it doesn't matter. No, I, I don't think so. I think that— I mean, this, uh, is, this uh, is a perfectly good show tonight. It's just I wish there were more people kind of interacting with each other. That's all. Well, are they are they watching on YouTube? Believe it or not, we have uh, at least uh, um, I would say double the number of people watching us now tonight than we've had on Facebook Live. Well, that's great. You YouTube. Know. It looked really good last night. It looked outstanding. So yeah. I'm I'm really happy with the switch uh, and. And also, since I was off the it, table, I was getting a lot of my stuff from YouTube anyway. It allows me to run it on uh, on my on the fa on the uh, gabnet.net page. It's it's running over there live right now. Yeah, yeah. And which is different than I, I didn't see that yesterday. But this, when I was just trying to call but, back in, you're right at the bottom of that page, or right right above uh, the fold. Does YouTube yeah. have a system for a panel without Skype? Uh, but, yeah, I mean they do. It's called it's called uh, Google Hangouts, but it's uh, much more complicated. People uh, be harder for people to use. I mean, Skype is something most people have in their computer. In fact, if you have Windows 10, uh, you know it comes built into Windows 10. So yeah. so Skype mm -hmm. is is easier for people to use. And quite frankly, I mean, I like the quality of Skype. I, I can't say it's bad quality. And I found that when I tried Google Hangouts as a test, uh, uh, gee, the numbers are really high right now. Uh, uh, I know people look at it and they go, that's not terribly high. But at the end of the night, that's that adds up to a pretty high number. Uh, but what I'm saying with Google Groups or Hangouts, uh, I tested it, and I tested the audio, and the audio was terrible. It was just terrible, where the audio on Skype I is I tested pristine. it with you. Huh? I think I tested it with you. Did you really? Yeah, I think so. It's like on a Saturday yeah, afternoon. Yeah, it's, it's a little clumsy to use, and it, it, it just doesn't. 
uh, you know, I might figure out, I might try it and see what, maybe now that we're using YouTube, that the Google Hangouts will work more seamlessly with it. But right now, I mean, I'm happy with the fact that I, for the first time, I'm able to embed this show uh, on without doing anything on a regular basis on GabNet.net. It's there right now. It's live. If you're watching it on GabNet.net, here we are. We're live, folks. You know. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I, I think that on the whole, this may wind up getting us a larger audience. You know, uh, o- only time will tell. You know. So. Well, like I said, <laughs> because I cut the cable, I I spent a lot of time on YouTube it, when I had chance on YouTube. So now, you, put you, the, you put the you put the cable back in though, right? Or what did yes, you do? Yes, that's how come this is stable. <laughs> oh, when you say you cut the cable, what, what did you actually do? Uh, well, all I have is internet running in, and I will hook up my. Uh, I got a new Apple Four, so mm-hmm. I've got the latest and greatest Apple TV that I'm going to put on the 4K television, and I have my old Apple TV that I'm going to put on the older television. So I'll be running that, and I didn't buy. I wanted to buy everything through uh, iTunes, mm-hmm. so I didn't buy HPO Go yet because I want to buy it through iTunes instead of buying it on the own. But I've survived on Hulu, <clears throat> uh, some Netflix, and uh, YouTube. Uh, you know, I cut the cable a year or so ago, mm-hmm. and I've been using a Roku on one TV mm-hmm. and an old Apple, uh, the bedroom TV. And uh, I use Skype. I pay $22 or $3, $4 a month, mm. and I get all the local news channels. I get all the cable channels. I get CNN, ESPN, uh, the MLB. See, who has that as an option? Did anybody Has anybody signed up for that? So uh, you, when you uh, say you got it through Skype, it's just an offer through Skype, not, but who no, is giving you the same through, thing? Jeez, um, oh, oh, I just went blank. A Sorry. sling, S L I N G. A sling TV. Yeah, okay. there's no contract or anything, uh, but you need a Roku for it to work. Mm-hmm. Uh, it won't work off the Apple TV, but uh, uh, you can get. There's three different plans. There's a ton of channels. I don't care for sports, so uh, I got more sports than I want. Uh, three or four ESPN channels, MLB, baseball. I, I've never watched any of them, mm-hmm. but. Mm-hmm. Um, well, we have a, a really large sports weekend coming up this weekend, so you uh, guys are going to have to get your football on. Yeah. <laughs> playing. I think uh, I saw somebody said that Philadelphia was playing, and then uh, the, the guy that keeps winning the Super Bowls. Uh, His from- name is Tom Brady, and yeah. he's the New England Patriots are playing. All right. and uh, But I think that they're playing in a really cold spot. Yes, uh, but it's a dumb stadium, so they're it's okay. Oh. Hmm. And it's kind of like a brand new stadium, so it, it ought to be pretty interesting in there and worth the, worth the watch. But I think Justin Timberlake is the the is going to be the guy for the Super Bowl <laughs> halftime. Well, uh, will he have a um, uh, a moment where uh, there's some sort of malfunction with his dress? You know, uh, he hasn't said anything about females being on the stage with him, so I'm not sure. Yeah. And I know you're talking about him, but have you ever seen Justin Timberlake? He's kind of thin, so saying that is a little. Oh, uh, you know, I've I've seen pictures of him. Uh, I know that I don't want to uh, that I don't like his music, uh, and that if I miss Justin Timberlake for the rest of my life, I will not miss it. By the way, do you, any of you see what I have on back here on the TV set? I just went to YouTube. Right, and now you're pointing at and yourself. And there it is. We're live on YouTube. Now put your finger up your nose for the adolescent moment. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to watch it on Alex's TV. No, but see, see the TV. There's a TV in back of me here. Yep. And it's yeah, yeah. it's got uh, a, we were the live program is on right now on that uh, on that TV. So you can go, folks. You can use your YouTube. And on to on your on show. your on your on your Roku on your uh, smart TV or whatever, and just put type in. I think it's uh, I think I got it on Alex Bennett, and uh, oh. you'll you'll get a you'll get the live picture, get the live hey, feed. Alex, 
Uh, there's a time clock underneath this on the GabNet, mm -hmm. and it says you have one hour, 16 minutes, and 43 seconds until the video is live again. Oh, I think maybe I have that clock all set wrong. No, I don't. No, I don't. Well, would mind here. say, uh, and it no. said three hours earlier. No, right now it says GabNet is live now. Oh, here comes Bree. All right, a little late. but Underneath the but, clock? On, yes. On, on, on yeah. GabNet? On GabNet, at the very bottom, or under, yeah. the, under the video feed, there is a thing that says GabNet is now live, and I just refreshed it to make sure that it was doing that. Yours is doing something. Yeah, mine says video starts automatically when it's live, and it yeah. has an hour and 16 minutes left until it will be. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but it, it's the other way on everybody else's computer, so... Well, yeah. well, that's, that's your like, that's your new app. that's your new $2000 computer that no, you no, paid. This for. is the iPad I was uh, oh, looking at. Oh, okay. Well, you know what you know what happens? I got to tell you. When I write a program, hello Bree, how are you, my friend? Hello. Good to see you. That's Bree. Do you, you, well. you realize what Just we right. have here? We have Phil in California, we have Jeff up there in Connecticut, we have mm -hmm. Renee in Hawaii and Bree in Dubai. That Ladies and gentlemen, is the World Wide Web. Okay. That's sure is. Isn't, it, Brie, there's some big event happening in Dubai this weekend? I forgot if it was, it, it's not a human, but it's an opening of some kind, like you're opening a big muse, new museum, architecturally beautiful or something like that. Well, that's pretty much every week here. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, Sorry. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's some things going on. I mean, the Louvre opened up uh, a month or two ago in Abu Dhabi. Did yeah, you go? And uh, yeah, yeah, it's wonderful. It's amazing. It yeah. Now, is it Just is it run by the French? Uh, I uh, well, they're certainly there. They are certainly, you know, they have a presence there. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, there's there's local art as well, or you know, regional things. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> wow. um, uh, did, uh, uh, at the Louvre in Paris, because of the floods, they've been taking all the art up to the second floor. Uh, yeah. Maybe they need a place to display. They'll bring it to uh, Dubai. Yeah, Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Abu Dhabi. What wow. happens? What happens? What cow. happens at the Louvre? You know, they they have that uh, that uh, pyramid, the glass pyramid. Uh, yeah, I am pay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't know how much I paid for it, but I know how no, much you paid Aunt for it. Uh, designed it. I know, I know, I know. Anyway, <laughs> uh, 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 that you then go down and you go underground, and mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff down there. I'm wondering if all of that is underwater right now. Well, the street along the side uh, and towards the back of the Louvre, the yeah. other uh, the other entrances that that is lower than uh than uh th where the i m pay entrance is okay but still that. but still it's also right near the sin as well which yes is what's overflowing its banks it's so it's banks so who knows but this is it but but the last time this happened they did have the same problem which was back in what eighty eight where they had to move all the artwork out of the the main area and take it upstairs they've done this before God. yeah uh, that's the new uh, uh, that's the new one. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, hold it up a little bit because my picture is kind of like. Oh, uh, well, let me see here. Hold on a second. Maybe I can. Really? Who designed it? I can get my picture out of the way. Wait a minute. Hold, no, on, hold on a second. Hold, hold, hold that. that I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to. Do. I forget the name. There to we tell go. The truth. Okay. Yeah. Put, I read put, an article. Put it closer to uh, the. Put it closer article. to the camera so people can get a good shot of it. There we go. Oh wow, that's nice. Oh yeah, it's really cool. Reminds uh, me a little I did bit. Read an article. It, it reminds me a little bit of the Frank Lloyd Wright buildings in yeah. uh, Marin, San in San Rafael. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which um, it, well, yeah, it so looked very large. It's pretty nice. I saw this is one well, from uh, hands all all around it. Uh, what is that? This is the new zoo. This is the zoo in Dubai. You know what that uh, looks like? Just, you know what? It's strange wow. what that l looks like. It actually looks like the uh, countryside in France. A Provence. Yeah. You know, you could fool me. Yeah, East Provence. Now, <laughs> now that's where it's not in in Dubai, right? It's in Abu yes, Dhabi. This is, this is in this is Dubai. I'm showing you a picture from my phone. Where'd you get all the and fucking water from? from? I thought that was a goddamn desert. 
No, no, we've been seeding the clouds. I'll tell you, what, I what, saw. What let me let Twitter. me tell you something. I saw on uh, on uh, the. Ah, uh, look at what is that? It's Nick Maybe it's, it's the new guy I'm going to start dating. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he has a nice tongue. Anyway, um, it works for me. It works for you. <laughs> Whatever works for you, dear. You there know. you go. <laughs> uh, but but uh, uh, the, um, the you know the, I saw pictures of uh, Dubai or of out outside of Dubai, the desert. Uh, because uh, on that show that they're doing Grand Tour, that the guys who once did uh, the English Motor oh, Show yeah. are doing, yeah, here. they right. went there. And man, I'll tell you something. That desert is gorgeous. It, oh yeah, it is just breathtaking. Uh, I hear those things are nasty, and they good. spit at you, and their spit. Oh, is oh yeah, nasty. no, no, camels are the worst because I had to work with a camel. <laughs> I heard that. Yeah, because Did we you hear had, about the Botox I, beauty contest in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, it was a, there was a camel Botox beauty yeah. contest. I heard about. <laughs> well, that. they weren't supposed to use Botox. But they were using what? So the lips would be fuller? Yes. Yeah. And so that the forehead would be more pronounced. They that are nice. Sex, they are the, it's a sexy camel. And, and that is that big tall building in Dubai, right? What's, yeah, that's it, what's it called? Khalifa. What's it called? Burj Khalifa. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. I, I went there the other night because they were they were still showing the um, the New Year's Eve laser lights. Uh, th oh. So, <clears throat> yeah, I didn't go New Year's Eve. It's too crowded. But they were supposed to be showing them up until the end of January. So I went there. That's I was great... inside doing some grocery shopping. And then I realized, oh, it's 10 o'clock. I got to run outside. So I ran outside and it wasn't playing. And I was thinking, like, what is going on? Like, I know for sure. And then it, I talked to one of the vendors. And he said, oh, they don't even have the water fountains now. And I said, okay, that... Then it hit me. the The mother of the leader in du uh, Abu Dhabi passed away, so they had three days um, of mourning. Mm -hmm. So there's no music. All the flags are half half staff, and uh, and that was why. And you know, uh, ironically, or I don't know, uh, a day before that, I had to go to a uh, a wake, a funeral, mm -hmm. and it was the first time that I've experienced that here. Wow! Like to go to one. Mm, wow. uh, what I didn't realize was my boss went with me and the gentleman whose uh, mother had sadly passed away uh, was uh, was there. And technically, my boss would be the greet, the one to greet, like in my mind. Right. But when we got there, the women had to go in one room and the men had to go in another. That's so the I got Fox Judaism as well. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, I I didn't think about that until the moment we got there because I was expecting oh she will know what to say you know she can say it in Arabic and I'll just let her do that and then when we got there it's like oh no you're you have to go do it so they had <laughs> like, to separate oh. you <laughs> yeah boss a woman uh -oh. uh Bree is is your boss a woman what is your boss a woman yes. I see. Yeah. So she was being your beard and somebody stripped off your beard when they segregated you? No. I'm getting a little bit of uh, well, if, uh, if you distortion. Think he was... I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, can I ask Renee, uh, what happened after the alert? Uh, where you <laughs> oh, yeah. What about that Hawaii alert? You were, <laughs> we didn't, yeah, you haven't been on since that happened. That was a lot oh, of fun. That was great. That was it was so cool. Well, for a few minutes, it must have been terrifying. Well, I was talking to I was talking to uh, uh, Will Durst, uh, who had just gotten back from Hawaii and was there for yeah. the whole event. And he said oh, he because was he was on vacation, he just never kept his phone close to him. So he found oh, out sorry. after the fact, you know, uh, yeah, when yeah. he had heard about it. And then he looked at the messages on there, and it said, "This is not an alert. <clears throat> you know, grab your ass and kiss goodbye." You know. Well, so uh, what it, happened? So I was I had just gotten up a little while ago and I just looked at my phone and the alert came across and I said, "Yeah, well that doesn't say okay." So um, I looked at it. It said, "This is not a drill," and I went, "Fuck!" So I went to take a I went to the bathroom because I didn't want to die still having to take a piss. So <laughs> I, 
Okay. Then I came back to the computer and I started pulling up everything. I went to CNN, I went to API, I went to everybody. And then I went over to Nexus and by then it was already at the five minute mark and all the police, uh, everybody had already known by then. But I thought, when, I thought it was 36 minutes. Is, and that's my point. We got our information from other sources, but if the source that sent that out did not send a correction correction out for 38 minutes, mm. and that was way too long. So I have a complaint about that, but we were, you know, it's like I everything I saw when I came back to the computer, I was just checking sources, and I figured somebody would know, but nobody was talking. Oh, oh more, pi more pictures. Oh, oh nice. What, what, yeah, well, what's, what, what, is, what is that painting, by the way? Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon Bonaparte, yeah. Not exactly yeah, what you expect to find in the <clears throat> desert. <laughs> yeah. The Louvre in the That's desert. True. So the poor person who did this, I shouldn't say poor person, but there's two things that happened. One is the person lost their job. I, uh -huh. I, don't, I don't agree with that. But the other thing is, is that we all realized we got no fucking clue what to do. We had no idea. Oh, not nice. Sense. Yeah, nice. well, Renee, there's not really much you can do. Is that true, Tim Common? Well, that's why I went to the bathroom. Is that true, Tim Common? <laughs> yeah. But, you know, if we're to be believed around here, and I don't know that that's for sure, we have actual missiles flying, and we're not getting, we don't get alerts. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, nice. <laughs> so, uh, well, we'll trade you. Uh, your 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 particular place. Uh, That's crazy. Uh, um, is 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 not really a major target, is it? I mean, you don't feel unsafe there, do you? No. Bree, yeah. No. Um, no, I don't. Because uh, uh, I've never heard you talk in those terms. But is Dubai fortified? In other words. Are they able, if somebody were to send a missile into Dubai, are they able to counter it and shoot it out of the sky? Or, or don't they have um, that kind of weaponry? Do they buy? I, I don't know for but, sure. I mean, they don't really release that information, but my guess is that if they didn't before, they will now. <laughs> yeah. But you haven't had any real incidents, have you? I mean, there, there haven't been any yeah. uh, no. terrorist... Uh, no, I mean... In this in this region, the conflict level has been fairly low. Most yeah. of it is over to the west. Yeah. You know, Didn't or the Michael north. Jackson in this area for a while. The main reason the main reason is because it's kind of like I mean, would you expect Ohio, Pennsylvania, or New York to go to war or have conflict? Not really. Really. You know. Yeah. And so you have a lot of different countries here, but most of them are, I guess, what I would say, brotherly. You know. Well, that's not that how sense. Kuwait and Iraq uh, in the 90s, you know, the, they, there was some issue. Yeah. Uh, uh, didn't Michael well, Jackson... Well, Iraq is not Dubai. Pennsylvania or New York. Too. Um, I think at one, maybe at one point. Yeah. I know that Janet Jackson, I think, married is married to someone from here, someone from the Gulf country, but I can't remember exactly. Really? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, she's married to uh, one of the sheikhs in Kuwait, maybe, or... Really? Or, well, yeah. actually, can we talk about this? Because, Bree, you, you kind of got a point there. So if this is a missile that has a nuclear uh, tip on it or a nuclear bomb on it, we're we're all just... It's no. Yeah, yeah, in Hawaii. Just, <clears throat> yeah. Just, you know, I just got I, I think, start popping the champagne or the beer or whatever you were saving and... <laughs> Based on what I see, I don't think North Korea has the ability to target that specialized, uh, you know, of an area. Yes, um, I agree with that. And the know. ceramic tile will keep you safe. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I agree with that. But you know what? All I ask is, you know, to what? Mm -hmm. is to hit is to go to Air Force One and save the rest of us because we. I don't know if we'll fight back. Let's put it that way. If he takes out Air Force One, I'd be real happy. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm looking for where. There's some sound of the audio yeah. <laughs> coming through here, and I can't figure out where it's coming from to save my life. So yeah. I don't know. You know. Um, where Could it be the like a slapback thing? Ah, there. I think there's where it is. Let me see here. Is that? There we go. I got rid of it. I, I don't but know. But on the other point, if it's not 
Arabic? No, Superman is it from yourself? Arabic? No, I, I found I, that where it was. Is that a uh, Arabic Superman? <laughs> is that Arabic? <laughs> that is, uh, yeah. yeah. That's not it's Superman? It's going to be some T-shirt. If it wasn't a nuclear bomb, we all have... Huh. Oh, wait, No stupid that. people beyond this point. You know something? I think it's a perfect way to end this program, as a matter of fact. So you took all those pictures, why? When you were in Abu Dhabi this last weekend on a little trip, right? Did you hear me, Bree? I guess I guess he didn't. I don't know. He might be. Audio. Anyway. I'm hey, I want to thank everybody. I did. I did. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, I want to thank you, Bree, <laughs> for that wonderful tour of, of Dubai. Yes. By the way, all of a sudden, the, num <laughs> the numbers went crazy around here. You know, we're doing great with this TV thing. Uh, uh, also, uh, thank you uh, very much, Renee. Actually, it turned into a very good show. Nice bunch of people. Jeff, thank you. Phil, thank you. Thank and, you. of course, Bree wearing his Philadelphia, what is that? Uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh Pirates? Pirates. <laughs> yeah. Although they got okay. Ready. Are they playing, too? Super Bowl. Who's the, aren't they in? The, no, 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 not baseball. But That's doesn't, baseball. It, baseball. Boy, right. hey, listen, everybody. Why don't you just wave a goodbye to everybody, and they can uh, they can wave goodbye to you too. Thank you so much, everybody. Appreciate it. Okay, that's it. That's our uh, that's our little uh, gathering for this evening. Uh, let me uh, just uh, close down the phones here so that the next show can use them. Uh, listen, uh, I wanted number one. I want to say that in spite of the fact that we didn't have a lot of callers tonight, we had a good show. And the numbers that we're getting on YouTube are so much an improvement over what we got with Facebook Live. And I think it's because the picture's better because you can get it everywhere. And I just noticed, see, me in the background. Um, that's us live, live on YouTube on your TV set. If you have like one of these smart uh, TVs, uh, you, you just uh, get YouTube, put it on there and you can watch us on your big screen TV every night. Uh, and also, you, uh, there are a lot of other devices that you can do this with, including, I think Amazon has one and whatever. So, eh, whatever. I, I think it's really working out well. I'll be back again tomorrow night. Next, Jack and Amy, The Intersection. After that, Connections. Tomorrow night at 9.30, it will be Damien Chaplin with... Uh, the Exchange. Uh, I will be here tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye.